Hello and welcome to Midweek Meditations, where we have an opportunity to share with you what God has shared with us. In keeping with the spirit of Christmas and the whole concept of the incarnation, Jesus coming to, to be born of a baby and to live and even die for us, just want to share with you a quick story that I've read, powerful story about the incarnation. It has to do with a father who had who wanted nothing to do with Christmas. He wanted nothing to do with the incarnation. He wanted nothing to do with the birth of Jesus. As a matter of fact, he would say, as some of us said, he he was not in the Christmas spirit. Oh, but I want to tell you what happened. He escorts his family off to the annual church Christmas choir concert and they're headed out to the car. He escorts them to the car. He lets, gets them in the car and then he starts walking back to the house. As he's walking back to the house, the snow starts coming down heavier and heavier and wetter and wetter, but he keeps on walking, making his way into the home and he sits down in his easy chair, grabs his paper and he begins to read. He's been doing this for a few minutes now when all of a sudden there's this loud thud against his window then there's another thud against the window and another thud just a constant thuds coming against his window and what he starts thinking is somebody is throwing snowballs at my picture window but he looks outside and he notices that there's some birds outside the birds are trying to get out of the snow and out of the cold and they're trying to get into the house and they keep running into the window and he says to himself man if I don't do something to help those birds they're gonna freeze to death and so he goes outside and he starts thinking and then he looks over to the left and he sees a barn he remembers that he's got a barn where the where some of the horses are kept and so he goes and he puts on his boat boots and his heavy coat and he begins walking over to the, to the barn so he can open the door turn the light on and hopefully those birds will find themselves going to that warm barn but you know what they didn't move he goes back from the barn and then he goes to the porch and he tries to encourage the birds. Come on, y'all, you all, you've got to get into this warm, the warm barn. And he keeps working on them. He decides, he says, you know what, maybe I, maybe if I put some breadcrumbs out. So he goes into the house, he grabs some breadcrumbs and he sprinkles the breadcrumbs from his house to the barn. They still refuse to go. He tries to shoo them. They still refuse to go. He tries to pick them up and carry them, but they still refuse to go. And he says, you know what? I I don't know what I'm going to do. These birds are going to die. They're going to freeze to death if I don't help them. And he begins to think, he says, you know what? The only thing left for me to do is to become like the birds. He said, right now they're afraid of me. They don't know my intent. But if I became like them, if I hung out with them, if I, if I spent some time with them, if I spoke to them and they spoke back to me, then they would understand that I have their best at heart. And as he's walking back and he's contemplating these things, he hears the church bell singing, O oh, come, all ye faithful. He hears the church bells ringing, O oh, come, all ye faithful. He hears the church bells ringing, O oh, come, all ye faithful. And it is at that moment that this father drops down on his knees and he begins to thank God for the birth of his son. I want to pause and tell you that within the confines of that story, it reminds us that Jesus thought enough of you and me to become like us so that he could talk with us, so that he could walk with us, so he could hang out with us, so that we would understand understand that he has our best at heart. And I want to remind you as you're finishing out this week and preparing for Christmas on this coming Saturday, I want to remind you that the real reason for the Christmas experience is because Jesus loved you and me so much that he came to live and die for us. And because of that, we celebrate his goodness and his mercy. Can I, can I say one last thing as I, as I prepare to close? You don't have to wait until Saturday to thank God for the for the birth of his son, Jesus Christ. You can give him praise right now that he loved you and he loved me so much that he gave his life for us. Oh, I want to challenge you. Why don't you join us this Saturday as we celebrate Christmas together at the New Life Church. We're going to celebrate his goodness and his mercy. We're going to uplift the name of Jesus. We're going to give him praise on Christmas Day 
for his son Jesus coming to live and die with us. And so I pray for you right now. I pray that the Lord will bless you and keep you, that the Lord will cause his face to shine upon you, and that the Lord will give you peace both now and forevermore. God bless until we meet again.